Hey guys, what's up? It's Greg Shrasvasti with the Find Your Films YouTube channel. Do movie reviews, Blu-ray and DVD giveaways. And I also interview actors and filmmakers to talk about some of their favorite films and also spotlight some of their own works that they feel is underrated and overlooked. So I'll be putting a, a bunch of movie reviews and archive stuff regarding finding films. So if you're interested in that, as well as movie reviews, please like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks again. Now, Cabrini stars... Christiana Del Ana in a very showy and wonderful role. It is a show-stopping role in, in so many aspects. And I really loved her performance as for Cabrini, a Catholic nun who in 1889 traversed from Europe all the way to New York along with her fellow sisters. They are on a mission to open up an orphanage in New York. At least that's one of their starting, starting points, their starting goals. And they try to open up an orphanage slash shelter for young kids over at the Lower Manhattan's Five Points area. Now, director Alejandro Monteverde, who he is the filmmaker behind last year's Sound of Freedom, hit movie Sound of Freedom, he's a, he's the man behind the camera here. And the movie is very beautiful. It reminds me of a lot of the, the way it's shot. It's immersive and it looks, it reminds me of a lot of the Italian films that I used to watch back in the day in the 40s and 50s. I, I took a class in college and I would watch all of the great works from Antonioni, Fellini, Roberto Rossellini. And I think, I feel that this movie owes a little bit of a debt to the great Italian filmmakers of old. And so this movie has an old-fashioned way about it, which I really enjoyed. But it really depends on your aesthetic if Cabrini will be the right film for you. Visually, it's, again, immersive and sumptuous and beautiful. I like the, I really enjoy the world building. You get to see the struggles that she and her sisters, and most importantly, the kids, had to go through in the, that parts of lower Manhattan in the Five Points area. You see a lot of tragedy within this narrative. Cabrini herself, she is in failing health. And it's amazing to see in this 140-minute narrative what she went through as an individual and how she became a leader and actually a doer and was able to make a huge name for herself throughout her life. She became a saint. And you, you get to see a lot of her successes, but more with Cabrini, you also get to experience a lot of her setbacks in her trying to build that shelter in the lower points, in the five points, lower Manhattan, and also attempting to build a hospital later in the narrative. There, there's a couple of prohibitive things about this movie. It's 140 minutes. And if you're in the theater, you might be, and it's not for you, you who knows, maybe you might walk out if it's not for you. But this, for me, I wish I actually saw this in the theater because on the big screen, all of the beautiful epic visuals, whether it's you're seeing the sewer area in lower Manhattan where the children, where a lot of the children have to live and Cabrini and her sisters try to save them to just parts of New York back in the day. It's really well done. The production design is beautiful. Also, with all these visuals, it wouldn't work if the script and especially the acting wasn't on point. And Christiana Del Ana as Cabrini is fantastic. It's a very locked in and involved performance. And what's interesting about Cabrini and the rest of the story is she's pretty much hemmed in personality wise in the movie. But you can really she she really commands the frame with her stillness and her charisma and her and her inner power. I really liked her conversations. There are a lot of people along the way in New York that she bumps into as far as trying to get her point across, trying to get her goals across. One of them is an archbishop played by David Morse, and he plays a colleague, a friend to Cabrini, but also a realist to Cabrini, telling her so many things that she can't do because, A, she's a woman, at the time, it... it what she's doing is too ambitious. Also, there is a mayor, a corrupt mayor played by, it's a fictional person, played by John Lithgow. He plays, I forgot the name of the mayor, but he is a person who's all about capitalism. And you get to see her, Cabrini, face the mayor towards the end of the, end of the film. That's a really great confrontation as well, verbal confrontation, battle of wits. So I, I really like... Cabrini as a movie. Some again, the, I was worried about the length that it might might have been a slog, but I was really involved with it. All of the parts of her life where you get to see her just overcome obstacle after obstacle, and so many things go wrong before they go right. So it's just a great. It's not a cradle to the grave biopic, but it's just a really well done look at the life of Francesca Cabrini. And I'm thinking if this movie is a hit in theaters, a lot of people will be looking whether it's just Wikipedia or reading up on Cabrini's life, because she's 
had a very fascinating life. And to do so much, even with a health that is not, it's completely frail, is completely inspiring. Now, also a, a huge strong point for me for Cabrini is some people might think this is a faith-based movie. So you're going to have a lot of Christianity lessons or spotlights, et cetera, like that. But it's it's about a Catholic nun and her sisters and what they do, but they do not stress the Catholicism or the Christianity. It is not slathered. It is just woven into the story pretty well. So it is not one of these overt faith-based movies, if you're not into those, that you should avoid. This is a great story of a woman who's done so much for the world. So on that on that level, I think it's a very entertaining and immersive movie. My overall rating for Cabrini is four and a half stars, four and a half out of five stars. Yeah, I enjoyed Sound of Freedom. I really like this as well. I'm going to watch it again when it comes out on Blu-ray or DVD or when it hits streaming because I really like Christiana Del Ana. I've seen a couple of seasons of Gamora several years ago and she plays a pivotal role, I think, in one of the seasons. I definitely have to go back and watch Gamora or actually continue watching Gamora just to see Christiana Del Ana because she is an amazing actress and she does a great job in Cabrini. Most importantly, tell me what you think of this movie. Are, are you on my camp? Do you love it as much as me as me, or did this movie not work for you? Please leave, leave your review and comments below on Cabrini. Thank you so much for listening to this review. And yeah, this channel, Find Your Films, if you have any movie recommendations that you'd love to share, I'm always willing to. No, I'm not always willing to. I'm more than thankful to learn more about movies. All right, guys. Thanks again so much for your time. And check out Cabrini. Tell me what you think. All right. Bye.